Assalamu alaikum and uh, good afternoon Azim. Uh, good afternoon. Um, first, we want to congratulate you upon winning the Takafusi of the award from the Asset Magazine. Thank you very much. Obviously, it's a very proud moment for me personally. Uh, it's a very humbling moment as well, perhaps more importantly. Uh, something I you know, didn't, didn't obviously expect. Yeah. Uh, for me, I think it's more of a testament to the staff uh, and our agents and our other partners and all of the good work that we all do as a company to meet the needs of Malaysians, their protection needs, the social uh, care that we bring, if you could put it that way, the benefit that we can have on society. And I think it's a reflection on all that, but also on our customer centricity. Uh, people who speak to me understand that and know that my focus is very much on the end user of our product, which is largely our customers, okay. and to make sure that all that we do is geared towards them. So I think it's a reflection of all of that hard work over the last three, three and a half years, where we've really transformed a lot of the ways that we do business, the ways that we seek to meet our customer needs, and the way that we motivate, energize, and lead our staff, and allow them to, to develop a business which is consistent with our ambitions. Leadership is many things. Leadership is about clear vision, it's about inspiring people, and it's about personal values, and it's about making sure that uh, one's conduct is the best. So on a personal level, I make sure I conduct myself in a way that I feel is appropriate. Uh, that entails high standard of ethics, uh, doing the right thing each and every day, uh, and making sure that, by and large, my judgment is as good as it possibly can be. It's not always possible to give an exact answer to problems. And our job as a leader is to make sure that on balance we, make, we get more calls correct than we do wrong. And I think that comes with experience. There's often this question about are leaders born? Um, so I suppose there'd be a, a bit of each really. Some are better than others. Uh, but whatever it is, man, one must be sure that if you're in a leadership role, uh, you are able to find the right answer. Now, of course, as a leader, you're also a role model. People look to you, look to see what you do. So you have to be clear that your uh, manifestation of your style is one that your compatriots, your colleagues can look up to. Uh, and that will entail many, many things. They have to trust you. They have to respect you. Uh, you have to set out a vision for them. They have to believe in that vision. And if you can do all of that, I think you can be a good leader. I think the other thing about a leader, one must always be prepared to learn. Uh, you'll never finish article. You have to grow and develop. And I think I seek to improve myself personally as much as I can, adapting my style to suit the circumstances I find myself in. My biggest challenge as CEO is being CEO. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's a, I, I, I mean, you see, the, the, where we are doesn't stand still. You know, the, the regulatory environment changes day by day, the competitive landscape changes, we have to adapt and innovate. You know, what we were doing three years ago when I joined this business is not necessarily fit for purpose today. You know, we've seen more tackleful licenses given, looking specifically at our sector. Uh, and we need to be able to respond to the emerging demands that we see around us. Uh, and that may again be from use of technology, the products, the way that we uh, reward our staff, so many different things. So I think the balance that we have to find between addressing the short-term imperative of the business and building for the long-term sustainability of this business is key. And what we've got to make sure that, you know, I keep coming back to this point, our staff need to be aligned to this. But what we've got to make sure is that our staff and anybody associated with this business see that what we're trying to do is the right thing by our customers. Uh, and that will ensure long-term sustainability. We, we do not, you know, per se, seek to chase top line, because that is a, the objective. The objective is to serve customer needs in the ways that they want and need. Then the top line will come, and we can be assured that it will stay be sustainable, and therefore, subsequently, the bottom line, the profits of the business, will be there, and we can reinvest 
that is about sustainability. We are looking at 20 to 30, maybe longer time horizon, and that's, that, that is the objective for this company to ensure that our success is enduring over many, many years, not just one year. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, we appreciate Thank you being you. here. And, um, Thank you very much. We hope that your thoughts and opinions uh, will inspire others and also our staff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thank you again. Yeah, thank and you very congratulations much. again. Thank you very much. Thank you.